Hey, this is Yuval from iForexPace, and today I would like to uh, review the XTrader ECN platform that is currently used by FX Pro. So, as I said, it's an ECN platform, which means that it shows you the actual rates from the uh, international Forex market as opposed to uh, some other brokers that just uh, display their own rates when they serve as, a market, as market makers. So, this platform is an ECN platform. And uh, before we go into the actual um, uh, stability and the execution of the platform, first I would like to give you a short overview of uh, different elements of this platform. So the first thing uh, that comes into mind, um, for me at least when I open the platform, is the way it looks. It looks uh, pretty similar. Um, if you see, if I'll um, put the screen back into a regular screen, uh, it really resembles, in, in the general layout, it resembles uh, the layout of MetaTrader. So it's a good thing because most traders in the world are accustomed to this platform. Um, and um, that's something that you, it's not like a new flashy platform that you need to get used to. So the, the basic layout is pretty much similar, which means that you have here on the left side, you have the currency pairs. And over here in the middle, you have different screens. Of course, I open here uh, seven screens. That's why you see it so cluttered. But normally, it would start with four screens, just like in MetaTrader. And on the bottom here, you have the positions, orders, and deals um, under the, the charts. Okay. Uh, let's start over here with the left. Because this is an ECM platform, so you're, you see here under the actual... Um, currency the the rates you actually see the trading volume that is um, that is uh, pushed into the market right now with orders obviously buy and sell orders and you actually see the volume so for example here you see three million four million point five million and it actually changes in real time so what is this good for this is good for people who would like to actually see I mean, I know you really have to be quick on this, but if you are uh, a scalper and you want to see if the market is going to a specific uh, direction, then if you look on one side, you see a lot of volume on one side or more than the other side. It usually means that that's the direction, the general direction of the market at the moment. But when you open the box, you see um, the buy and sell, which are color coded. What's good about that is see even in the corner of your eye, you can see if you see red, you know it's going down green you know it's going up so that's a good thing now um, this is a one click or two click uh, execution so what is this good for if you like to scalp if you like to get uh, quick trades you can set it up to be one click and then um, every time you click the button it will open the position right away um, if you don't like it if you're scared that you will by, by by mistake click on the button and open a position then you can do a two click button and then it will ask you for confirmation before it actually opens a position so of course it depends on the type of trader you are uh, here in the middle you can select the um, the amount you want to trade now uh, the good thing is that you see it very organized here in just 10,000 and then 100,000 increments um, the bad thing is that the minimum you can trade is 40,000. So all the people who like uh, mini lots and micro lots, just not here at the moment. Maybe it's going to change in the future, but right now the minimum you can trade is 40,000. Okay, and another thing is you can't put in something uh, that is not here. For example, if I want to do 55,000, I can't do it. Uh, in the lower end, it's not such a big deal, but when you get to higher amounts, like 700, 800, 900,000, you want sometimes to do less in between 950, then it becomes a little um, more of a problem. And of course, in the millions, that's a, it's a bigger problem. But um, overall, this is very convenient that it's over here in the middle because you can really, with this box, you can do a lot. Um, you can he see here on the right on the corner, you see the chart when you click on it it opens this chart okay so if I want to open another different chart for a different currency pair I just go to that currency pair click on the chart and it will open up a screen here let's see for example I will show you let's open up the Kiwi here okay you see it open it up here I don't really need it now so I'll close it back to the euro 
Okay, so here in the middle you see the spread. But you see very good spreads. This is actual, the actual spreads in the market, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, um, 1, 0 0.6. Okay, this is a uh, normal um, interbank spreads in the market. So you're actually getting the real rate in the market. You can see here on the right, you can see the high and the low of the day. Okay, you can also place orders here, like sell limit, buy limit, directly from this box. So you can basically pretty much do anything you want here in this box. Um, there's the information of the currency. Okay, it shows you the swap rates, etc., which is nice. And you can add it to favorite. You can create here a favorite. You see, I already added it to my favorite. So here, there's a favorite tab if you want specific currency pairs to be displayed. Okay, so this is everything we need to know about the box. One thing that is important to remember, this is very important. Uh, normally when you trade with a market maker, the spread is what you pay for the actual position. When you trade with, with an ECN platform and you see the spread here, this is the actual spread of the market, but this is not what you're going to pay. There's usually an additional fee that is added to this spread. Okay, in this case, in FX Pro's case, it's uh, 0.3 pips or $30 per million dollars traded. So always remember when you open, if you see, let's say, one pip and you're going to open a position, it's 1.3 pip. So you need to make not only one pip to cover your, your cost of the trade, but 1.3 pip, okay? This is a very important to remember because some people don't. If you're a scalper, it's something that you should really take into consideration. Um, okay, let's go to the main um, section here, which is the chart. Can You have actually, in every chart, you have the buy and sell over here in the top. So if you don't want to go back and forth from left to right, and you just want to focus on the chart and trade, it's much easier for you. And you can also change here the currencies that you want to trade. Here you can do zoom in, zoom out. Okay, pretty standard time frames. It's nice because you have one, two, three, four, five minutes. Some some charts only have one and five. Uh, so you have all the different time frames here, all the way to monthly. Here you can choose between uh, bar chart, line chart, candlesticks. Over here you remove or add different components from uh, the chart. Okay, so let's say if I don't want a grid, I can just remove it. Or if I don't want to have the ask in the bid here, I can just remove and add and pretty much do whatever I want here to add and remove. Uh, we have here the indicators. It's nice because it's, it's, um, it's divided to different types of indicators like trend, volatility, etc. Okay, you see over here I added the Bollinger Band. Um, and this is not the actual color that it comes in. The default color is green, but I changed the color. So I'll show you how I did it. Uh, let's first remove it and uh, you see this is where we remove all the different uh, elements that we want to remove okay so here now you see I don't have the bands let's add them okay you see the default is green green and green but very easily if you like a different color you can change it to something else uh, something that you like and you got accustomed to okay so you see this is the colors that I added um, also here you can choose the color options of the actual chart okay again you can just cho choose whatever you want and this way you customize the the layout to be um, what you want it to be so overall you see this is a very useful platform in terms of how it looks like and in terms of the things that you can add here on the right you can add you see uh, you can um, move from let's say a mouse cursor to uh, crosshair if you want to target a specific area and see the lines here you can add lines like a vertical line horizontal line like this line over here okay a uh, trend line you can uh, let's show you how I do a trend line here for example okay so you see this trend line and then it can also move it drag it it's uh, very flexible okay. Uh, Fibonacci, also something that you have here. Um, here I will show you how the Fibonacci works here. Okay, so you see it's uh, pretty much standard tools that are come with any uh, uh, platform, 
but they have it all here. So in that sense, I would say that it's a good platform. It, but the most important part is, of course, uh, how it actually how it actually is in terms of trading. Okay. So what we're looking for in an ECN platform, if you want to see if it's a good platform or not, first of all, of course, we need to make sure that it's it is a stable platform, that it doesn't crash, it doesn't freeze, and then you need to see how it is in terms of execution and spreads in um, times of uh, news times. So this is the next thing we're going to check, how it actually performs in news time. Uh, there's going to be a news released in the uh, Canadian uh, dollar and we're going to get back for that news release and we'll try to trade the market and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're back here and um, there's supposed to be a news release now for the Canadian dollar that should affect the Canadian dollar. Um, I have already a position open here. I shorted uh, this pair, the, the uh, USD uh, Canadian dollar, and um, I would like to see if this will go in the opposite direction. I would have to close. We will see how I can close this position in a news release. And you see the news was announced, so we're going to try to short it now, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so what you see, what just happened here is that the order was filled. And um, what it did was, because I already had a short position, it added the short position that I already had, and it combined it and created a new order of 100K in the middle. Okay, so you see the execution was pretty fast. Uh, it took about, um, I don't know, maybe half of the, half a second. So now what I can do is, I can go ahead and put a stop loss if I want. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So overall, if I would have to sum up this platform, what I think about this platform, I think um, in terms of how it looks like and in terms of the functions, it is very similar to MetaTrader, pretty familiar to, to most people. So that it's, that's a good thing. And um, another thing about this, I like the fact that they have all the currency pairs here, which every box has a lot of information and tools that I can use um, without having to look for them in other places. Um, uh, it pretty much has most indicators and tools that I would want to have in a platform. And uh, the main thing here about this platform is the execution and the execution as I showed you before is pretty good there's pretty good executions the spreads are very good you actually see less in most pairs you see around the pip and sometimes a lot less than that I would definitely recommend uh, any trader to give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this um, this review of X Trader uh, platform for more reviews and to join our Forex community, just go to myforexbase.org and I will see you there. Bye.